9.45, do you know where your LA Times travel correspondent is? It's not gonna get dark until, I'm not even sure when it's gonna get dark, because since I've been here, I've been falling asleep while it's light, and I get up in the morning and it's light again. So, I don't know when it gets dark. Behind me is the Brooks River, which is only about a mile and a half long. People come here from all over the world in the month of July because salmon are running and bears are trying to catch them. The bears here are coastal brown bears, which is the same species as grizzly bears. The focus of most of this activity is the platform above Brooks Falls, which is only about 500 square feet. It holds about 40 observers at a time, most of them photographers with great big long lenses. It's not that, uh, that classic image you might have of the nature photographer all by himself out in the wild for six hours on end. Instead, it's 40 people in close proximity for in one hour spurts in order to get that priceless picture of the bear uh, reaching out and grabbing for the salmon as it uh, tries to leap up the falls. Of course, there are plenty of rules for dealing with uh, an environment so full of bears. One of them is you have to keep 50 yards between you and a bear at all times. Walk that way, please. So these two bears are here in the woods between Big Spruce and Bear Trail and Camp Trail. Oh, there he is. Platform. Okay, approaching the gator. That seems like a, um, might seem like too short a distance, but the bears here are a little bit heavier and a little bit more complacent than the bears in some other places because they get so much salmon. In Denali National Park, where there was a bear-related fatality a couple of years ago, uh, the rule is that people need to try and stay at least 300 yards away from a bear. At my National Park, I'm Chris Reynolds from the LA Times. This has been a postcard from the West.